Okay, I feel clearly what he did was not right. Mm. Okay, okay, because of the law we have in place lah, he is not right to take drugs overseas also. Mm. So what he did is wrong lah. But is it really morally wrong? Or not? Just say. <laughs> I want to ask you guys: Have you guys ever considered taking drugs or not? I've never considered lah. Mm. Never. Considered. Actually, I took before. Eh. What? Don't tell anybody, like, legit. Don't tell anybody. <laughs> that's it, like, that's it, like, um... I know a CNB star watches us, so... Oh, shit, I mean, like, the, 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 the cough medicine, antibiotics, ah. 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 I mean, you also take a lot of drugs when you're young, alright? No, sir! Not me! But, Kuri, you know that uh, uh, cough syrup, right? Mm, I love it, eh. It's a drug. Yeah, I know, that's like, what like I people say. take, like, IPA, Modish, right? Like, they take, like, high high volume of cost right? They make them, like, very uh, drowsy. Uh, no, like, improportionate, la, moderation. Mm. Mm. According was, to the doctor's prescription. Mm. Mm. You know, last time when the secondary school students, they want to dabble in drugs, right? Yeah. That's their go-to. Mm. They take the cough. Are you one of them? I didn't even thought I of never tried before. Mm. I, I didn't even know this was a thing until I went to NS. Mm. And oh. my friend said, hey, last time we used to sniff, we used Glue, to take yeah. cough syrup. Yeah. I was like, what cough syrup? Yeah. Since when was that a thing? For me, I've never had that interest. Because, you know, when even when we go drinking, right, I don't like myself to be in that state where I cannot control mm. or I cannot know what is going on. That's so true. I really don't like that feeling. Mm. So I will not put myself in that situation. Not even to try the least. No, no. That's not for me. But right, but right, but right. You guys are all very nice people. Huh? Like, oh, all very... Uh, like stay away proper, from uh, proper uh, right? Uh, of course. I have thought about taking drugs now. Which ones? Only those uh, soft drugs are uh, like weed. Yeah, okay. I, I, I will want to take them. I want to feel the high. You know, like you see mm. online, like uh, Snoop Dogg, this or they, like all the celebrities that they did. Yes. Like, uh, so happy and all. Right? Every day, some more. Yeah, that's why I would want to try that. I've actually considered, as, as in not like considered it, but we got talk about it before, mm, right? Yeah. And y'all got asked if let's say it ha- happened to be we have in our possession this, mm. would we try or not? Yeah. I don't think before lah, won't be the worst idea. Okay, the reason why I ask you guys this question right is because I believe all of you guys know that Joseph Schooling recently admitted to taking drugs lah. Yeah. yeah. So in the school right? Not in school. Oh no. Uh, when he went to <laughs> Vietnam. When he went to Vietnam. Okay, so how they find out that Joseph Schooling was taking drugs right is because one of his a national teammate Amanda Lim uh, was caught with a weed grinder in her possession when she came back from the Commonwealth Games. Mm. Yeah, so uh, with that, right, they started questioning a lot of athletes. Mm. And one of the athletes that they questioned, right, is Joseph Schooling. Mm. So when he was being questioned, right, he then admitted uh, in, in taking drugs. Mm. Yeah. Lucky he admitted. Actually, why, why do you say <laughs> lucky he admitted? Mm. Because if you don't admit, you'll be worse, I think. How it's always would you be worse? Right? Because if they find out, then they're like, oh, you lied. But how would they find out? Yeah, that's the thing. Mm. That's the thing. They can check, check, check and they can check and then they the check. Uh, they actually did check him. But mm. it's negative. Yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, so that was it. Oh damn it! Yeah. Then after that, what well, become like a big thing? You know, like yeah, like what well, drugs are in Singapore. Is, I mean, it's like a big, big issue, right? So uh, mm. I, the whole internet went crazy. Like when I read the news, are uh, like seven out of ten news are uh, is about that's him cool. taking drugs. Yeah, yeah. Every yeah. media outlet was like bashing him and saying he admitted to taking drugs. You know. Mm. Mm. Yeah. They, they totally blew it out of proportion. Everybody be cool. You be cool. When he was caught, uh, then because like the internet become like everything caught fire, right? He come up with a public apology. Mm. I'm gonna show you guys what he said. Uh. Okay, so this is what Joseph Schooling said. Oh. I'm gonna read to us. <laughs> Let me use my sweet reading. Okay, so I'll ask you, just now you mentioned that a lot of people is like bash him and then like blew out proportion, right? I don't know what are your thoughts after hearing what he had to say. Okay, I feel clearly what he did was not right. Mm. Okay? Okay, because of the law we have in place lah. He is not right to take drugs overseas also. Mm. So what he did is wrong lah. But is it really morally wrong? Because okay, one of the things that you can you can say it is very wrong morally because he's a role model to young kids or sportsmen all over. And because he did this, other people who look up to him may think maybe it's okay to have moments of weakness in life. 
So in that part, maybe yes. But did he do something wrong to anyone? Mm. Uh, that, that's one thing we need to ask. La. What he did is not right, but was there real harm done? Mm. Uh, I feel if anyone else would have done it, almost nothing else would have happened. So actually, like when, when these news come out, right, there's a lot of people that actually in support of him, they, they write some nice things like, hey, he know he's only human, like, you know, sometimes at least they got stress and all, all, so maybe he succumbed to the weaknesses. Lah. But there's other people that also, you know, question the mm-hmm. Minister of Law, Sham Gem, right? Mm-hmm. They, they, they started writing on his Facebook page saying like, uh, why is Amanda Lim just get a stern warning from CMB and why he isn't like, Joseph schooling uh, charge under CMB. Yeah, so is there any preferential treatment given to them? But yes. what exactly can be charged though? Mm, yeah, so that's that's the that's what actually Shamun say said. Shamun mm-hmm. said that um since 2019 there will be no imprisonment and no criminal record uh, for those that take drugs. Mm. Yeah, and especially for for their case, right, they are found negative. Yeah, I think that is the main the main thing. If you are found negative, there's no further implication. Right? Yeah, yeah. If but then if you are found positive, right, they will only give you like rehabilitation, uh, like mm-hmm. help you reform. There is there is no punishment after that, man. There should be. Uh, yes, there is. There is a punishment for Joseph schooling. As in for normal people, if let's say now we go to Thailand tomorrow and come back next week, mm-hmm. and when we test, we are positive for weed, we probably will have some kind of. Punishment. Um, they will put you under the drug rehabilitation center. That's it, uh? Yes, unless you are like a. a but you've been blacklisted like, also, mm-hmm. right? Yeah. No, no criminal. Oh record. yeah, I think I saw something like that. Uh, mm-hmm. said that. Yeah. He said only if you are a drug trafficker, then we will give okay, you. Okay, trafficker is. Yeah, so only <laughs> that, that one we will give you a part a, a severe punishment. Uh, mm-hmm. But for those who are taking, we will like do our best to help you. Because I know rehabilitation mm-hmm. is always their first go to uh, mm-hmm. approach, yeah. but. If I'm not mistaken, there is a punishment that comes along with it also. Hmm. I'm not sure. Unless you're maybe an yeah. abuser or then maybe... I don't know. Maybe they'll give you a harsher punishment. Okay. Like just now I mentioned, right? Amanda Lim got off with a stern warning. But Joseph Schooling actually got punished. La. Because when he take drugs, right? He, he actually deferred from NS to go Vietnam to participate in the SEA Games. So he's still a full-time national serviceman, right? So this case, right, I wasn't charged under the CMB, but was pushed to Mindef. Mm-hmm. Right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. That one, I think, is quite standard. Uh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I, to, uh, yeah. Mm-hmm. So you guys, okay, I don't know, but you know that we, like, we have always this perception that, wow, like, when you are charged, like, in camp, right, the punishment is worse than you are charged outside. Yes, and sometimes the punishment is double because you will get charged here, and then later on, you still have to serve. So mm. like, wow, we always think like, wow, DB is the worst. It's worse than prison. Day. That's what they that's always. That's what yeah, That's what people say. Yeah. Mm. So let me share with you guys what uh, punishment did Joseph Schooling have. So Mindef have placed Joseph Schooling on a six months urine test regimen. So mm-hmm. they will they will check his uh, wow. urine sample every other day lah. Yeah. Mm. I, I, I don't know any other day lah, but like <laughs> for, <laughs> for like six months lah. For six months, they will go through this this <laughs> every <laughs> other day. Wow, <laughs> Six months. But the, I think the, what, what the, the, the main punishment that he get right is he revoked his disruption rights. Mm. Yeah, so to compete in all competitions. That's so a big have, punishment. Mm, so he had to serve his full two years already that he can start participating again. He will miss one of the games, right? Yes. Or this uh, next year, the, yeah. the 2023. Yeah, 2023, he will miss the Asian Games and Sea Games. Sea Games, yeah. yeah. Wow. So wow. he'll be sporting, I feel. Hmm. As our only Olympic gold yeah, medal right. yeah. The only pride, you know. Wow. <laughs> yeah. oh. So do you guys think it's a fair punishment? Or? It's quite strong. Uh. Like, even next year, you cannot do all those games. So right. you think it's unfair? La? A bit too much, eh, I think. I feel it's a okay. fair punishment. Yeah. It's okay. a very, very unfortunate punishment. Because yeah. in this case, right, the nation is losing also. In punishing you, we also lose. Yeah. Like normal people commit crimes, you mm. punish them, there's no loss for the nation. Mm. In this case, there is a big loss. Mm. Because this guy is possibly at his peak or maybe yeah. may, possibly just after but maybe he's still at his peak. And you know this age, right, is where you want to optimize as much as possible because yeah. if you are in athletic world, right, you have the peak period. Mm. Yeah, so if you you know, you one year and one year, it's just, yeah, you're going yeah. Not, yeah. <laughs> not on the upslope, right? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay. 
So I want to ask you guys, what do you guys think? Is the punishment fair for Joseph Schooling? Let us know. <laughs> bye bye. Bye.